Real estate law, business transfers, it can all be very complex unless you have the help of elder advisors and specifically Greg Condra, who is attorney and he joins us now. Greg, welcome back to the show. Uh, yeah, we talk about the complexities of what you do, but because you have this team of elder advisors behind you, I would think it helps what you do uh, much easier, become much easier as well because you have a team behind you, right, Greg? Uh, teamwork's important, um, and I guess I don't have anything more to say than that. Well, but you're part, of that right. part of that teamwork <laughs> is, you know, quite often legal issues come up, and guess what, Kentucky? I'm not an attorney. Uh, and how Greg and I kind of came uh, to meet each other was probably a year ago. It was a Friday afternoon, 4 o'clock, of course, so nobody's around. Family sits down, and the first question typically I ask families when we're going through the financials is, do you have a power of attorney? And in this case, the answer was no. And I said, well, then you probably need to talk to an attorney. They ask about guardianship. I said, well, I'm not an attorney. Let's see if I can uh, find an attorney. And Greg was in the building. And with that, Greg screamed, his air burst on fire. He ran out into the parking lot. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm not being overly dramatic, but I mean, you want nothing to do with a guardianship. And I think that's important for Greg to kind of just share with Kentucky you know, the problems of not having a power of attorney and what that little story that I just relate to really turns into. Because that's something that Greg deals with. I know Steve does as yeah, well. Yeah, and, and what? So I guess more specifically is what is your area of expertise, Greg? What what area do you like to work in? Well, at Condor Law Firm, we do uh, focus on two things. One is helping business owners with all the big events in the life of a business. So it could be forming or acquiring a business if you're if you're an entrepreneur starting a business. If you're someone who's buying a business, if you want to sell a business. Uh, it's important to have uh, an attorney review your contracts before you sign them, negotiating leases, uh, that sort of thing. And the other big thing we focus on at Condor Law Firm is estate planning. And that's uh, trust and wills and power of attorney and, you know, occasionally guardianship. But let's face it, no one should have to go through a guardianship if, if it can be avoided, right? It's expensive in money and time. It's uh, a humiliating experience for the person uh, and the way you avoid that is you have a power of attorney and so you know when Larry had the client that did not have the power of attorney in advance and they wanted the guardianship you know it's really just an unfortunate situation and it's completely avoidable and you can spend just a fraction of the money to get a good power of attorney uh, that allows you to do so many great things and we're going to talk about that in a moment uh, and you could have avoided the, the heartbreak of the guardianship situation. And Steve, you were nodding, evidently, just, you can appreciate what he, oh. Greg was saying as an attorney, yeah. with the, avoiding the problem, because yeah. on the financial part, I need to have the tools to be able to work with, and if I don't have a decision maker, if I don't have a Joe, or a Mary, or a John, or a Susan to work with, well then everything pretty much stops, and then definitely the attorney has to get involved, either getting them a power of attorney, or the guardianship, and that's when Greg was talking about it, and Steve was like, Ugh. Yeah, I you know, when you got that crisis situation, you have to have the tools to be able to, to take charge and make things, uh, make sure things go correctly. Uh, you know, if you don't have that tool, I, look, I mean, the situation oftentimes in that crisis is emotional enough as it is. You have to have that tool to be able to step in, take charge, and make the right decisions for mom and dad or your, your spouse or your children. We see it in all those different situations. Great the last thing you want to do is have to deal with the court system when you're going through that crisis. Yeah, Greg brings up a point, and you kind of expanded on it there, Steve, is I think that sometimes it's not what you want, it's what you want to avoid. And guardianship would certainly be one of those. Talk a little bit more about that, guys. Um, you know, things that you want to avoid. Obviously, you want to avoid having, you know, the bank take over mom's house or, you know, the, the senior facility demanding more money and you don't know exactly what pool it's going to come from. A lot of things, that, that's what it's all about, isn't it, Larry? It is, and it's all about options, and we try to bring options to the table, but if they don't have that power of attorney, uh, it greatly reduces our options, and uh, if the, if, you know, Greg Condra, uh, attorney at law, is he's meeting with the family and realizes they need a guardianship, uh, I think earlier, Greg, you were talking about, then you were talking about some options to avoid for the good news, if they have the power of attorney. Oh, a a absolutely. Um, so, you know, a good power of attorney is going to create opportunities for you. And let's just talk about, you know, sort of top of mind, some, some of the benefits of the Tammy, power of attorney. Tammy, can you get Condor Law up on the panel, please? <laughs> Thank you. So, um, so a power of attorney, it's gonna, it's gonna allow someone to get your bills you. paid for you. Uh, you know, so, sometimes you're in the hospital and, you're, and 
rehab after that and you're out for two, three, four months, but then you're going home. But in the meantime, you know, someone needs to get control of your financial life for you, get those insurance premiums paid, uh, get the car payment made, do whatever needs to be, so that you've got a life to come back to and yeah. you're not missing premiums at a time when you need your insurance the most, right? right. right. Um, also, you know, you want to have the ability to make some gifts. Why is that so important? It's because you probably don't know, and remember this, uh, you probably don't know that the way we fund a trust is you make a gift into the trust, right? So you've got to have some gifting power in your power of attorney. And this is true for both Indiana and Kentucky. Unless you specifically have these powers enumerated, uh, they're, they're not going to be able to use your power of attorney to make gifts. And you know, a, a trust is a fundamental building block for this Medicaid asset protection planning. You know, so that you don't go broke in the nursing home, right? So one leads to the other. So you want to have the power of attorney up front. Also what a power of attorney will do, it will nominate a guardian for you if a guardian ever should become necessary. And you say, well, you know, when might that be? We see this quite often actually. So someone's in the hospital and uh, you know, whoever is their agent or the power of attorney, they're asking too many questions, they're challenging <laughs> treatment, they're challenging invoices, and the hospital will go to the district court and say, hey, we want to appoint a guardian for this person because we just don't want to deal with this agent and the wow. power of attorney anymore. And so we will put some language in the power of attorney saying, oh no, Greg thought of this. <laughs> We're going to nominate as the guardian uh, my agent under the power of attorney. So, you know, I was counseling a, a client, uh, oh, maybe about a year ago, and uh, she brought her daughter to the meeting with her, who happens to be a physician and uh, practices at one of the big hospitals here in town. We don't need to say which one, but she says, well, Greg, you just don't know the kind of people we have to deal with <laughs> at the hospital, so of course we're gonna do this. So, you know, you can handle that. Uh, what we wanna have is some language that allows some Medicaid asset protection planning later. So. Let's say you're not exactly ready right at this moment to pull the trigger on Medicaid asset protection planning so you don't go broke in the nursing home, but you can get an appropriate power of attorney with all the appropriate language in it so that you can work with Steve and Larry. On the financial, on. you look at Steve for legal. <laughs> uh, financial. Yeah, I guess with uh, <laughs> the split screen, I'm not really sure what everybody's It's saying. all good. Steve's the lawyer, so you're the lawyer. It's We've got to run to break. Of what, okay, so. I, I want to thank you all. Greg, thank you so much. Steve, as always. Larry, thank you, thank you so much. Love the Santa hat. Once again, Merry Christmas. Advisors, don't go broke in a nursing home. Merry Christmas to everyone. We'll be right back.